inner child work is healing from trauma we experienced when we were children. Many times when we're younger and we have an event that's traumatizing, we disconnect from ourselves, from our inner child, from our being, from our soul, from our entity, whatever word you're comfortable with, you can just say disconnecting from yourself. Because connected to ourselves is too painful. And so this is a coping mechanism that we use and it's effective when we're children. But as we become adults, it becomes really destructive because when we're disconnected to ourselves, we experience intense emotional and physical suffering as well as developing a variety of addictions just to escape the emotional pain. Now, there are many modalities you can use to heal and help connect to your inner child. But I'm going to talk about a specific meditation that um, I have used over the years that is very powerful. Now, I started to use, I've, I've been meditating for about eight years, I have a very strong practice in the last five especially. And I've used this meditation to connect to your inner child numerous times over the years. And basically they say, you know, with your eyes closed, you imagine your child in front of you, you can pick whatever age you want. And, and then you sometimes hug that child and give it a message or something like that, okay? Now, in my experience over the years, I always seem to pick my child, little Michelle is like five years old. I don't know why. Maybe something happened around that time that I don't remember, I'm not sure. But over the years, she has always been sad and fearful. And I always hug her and tell her everything's gonna be okay and all that kind of stuff. Now, about a year and a half ago when I was living in Spain, I used to go to a meditation group regularly that I loved, and we did the same kind of meditation together. And that was the first time that my little inner child was happy. And I knew that was a milestone. I had already known a lot of the things that I had been working with breath work and meditations and affirmations and brain training and et cetera, et cetera, sound therapy all kinds of modalities to help modalities to help you heal. But when I got that message, when I had that experience, I was like, wow, this is incredible. This was a real affirmation that it was working. And I remember I shared it with my the meditation guide, the teacher that was helping me, and she was really happy for me. So fast forward today, and you know, over the years I've been doing a lot of work around this uh, healing from you know childhood trauma and stuff like that. And I believe that a lot of times you go through waves of healing, and as you're ready to go to a deeper level of healing and get that energy out, you know, you have to cry sometimes or scream or whatever, get the energy out, and then you calm down, and then you can have a, you know a, a more profound healing experience, and it keeps going like this. So for the last six months, I've had things come up and uh, more profound, deep healing. And I decided that I'm gonna do an inner child uh, meditation again. And so um, I've shared the link to this meditation below because I really thought it was excellent. And I got it off uh, an app called Insight Timer for meditation. You get thousands and thousands of meditations for free. And I've been using it for four years, Insight Timer. I'll, I'll put a link to that on the bottom too. You can even actually listen to these meditations on your PC and you don't have to have the app on the phone. So this particular inner child uh, meditation, the same kind of thing, you come, you, get, you relax, you focus, and then you imagine your child in front of you and it was the same five-year-old Michelle in front of me. And then I was instructed to give a message to that inner child if you like, and then receive a message from your inner child. And I have really good inner dialogue for a long time. Um, you know, you're amazing, I love you, blah, 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 it's all good. But this was the first time I like received a message. And so I just waited and the message was thank you. And as soon as it came, I immediately felt this really joyful experience and love in my heart because I knew exactly what it meant. I knew, I already known I was getting more connected and healing, but that was a thank you for all the work I've been doing over the years and especially in the last five, uh, because she knows that we're getting more connected and we're healing. And you know, when you start to get that experience, you start to experience more peace and you feel you have more self-love and you have more compassion for yourself. And when you do that, you have more, you're more compassionate to others. 
uh, you're more understanding to others. You have more empathy. You hold less grudges. Less things bother you when people talk or act a certain way. So there's amazing benefits come from this, from this work. And like I said, there's a lot of modalities to help and I use a lot of different things and I help my clients with this as well. But this particular inner child meditation is really quite beautiful and I invite you to try it. Thank <laughs> you.